fulfill their dreams and aspirations. There are those who embark on the journey of success, seeking knowledge, experience and growth. Through triumphs and challenges, our path has been shaped into determinants, relentless experience and preservations. Join us as we delve into a journey exploring our pivotal moments, transformation experience, and invaluable lessons that have defined our success. I, Mohammed Dubai. I, Janani from Aditya School of Business Management. We have come here to share our learning experience of AS. Bill, can you walk me through your finding on AS Lumi? Sure, Jan. This uh, MBA journey has been very enriching. I would say ASBM has provided me with so many uh, learning. Uh, the academic structure is very uh, vibrant that we could able to learn from so many industry experts outside the surrounding and also uh, we have conducted so many uh, uh, business interview, uh, international business meetings about various brands that we created and also uh, we did so many uh, presentations, we did a number of presentations, group discussions that made, to, made me to outperform in my workplace I would say. And what about you, Jani? Uh, My experience or time on ASPM was uh, totally different. Where uh, at the time of our UG studies, where we only gained theoretical knowledge, but here theoretical and practical knowledge was uh, more in, uh, excited and more enriching myself. And through every classes, uh, I started uh, growing myself, and which brought uh, which was going has a transformation every day. And we inculcated more knowledge. And as you already said, we have done more, more group discussions together and presentation. Which these are not things which made us to uh, develop and create our own uh, personality skills towards the corporate yeah. and the interpersonal skills of each and every students and you and me was also um, improved a lot. And and those are all this uh, HR we did. It. Yeah, yeah, that HR me where we uh, personally went as a group and we interacted with them and you know we also uh, conducted more series of meetings yes. and you get also there right and then even business meeting uh, we attended yes. more than I have attended more than eight and what about you? I have attended more than seven uh, business meetings and it was like amazing experience. Yes, yes, like uh, on the mentor of us, uh, so many, it was really like uh, we are at the corporate right. meeting yes. and, and and uh, can you tell me, we had a time uh, to go into the internship, right? So how did you source the internship? Uh, uh, has where the networking, uh, where the networking the is here, where the networking uh, has played a more yes. uh, power. Yes. So how did you source and how did you get an internship? As you mentioned, Jeremy, networking is the crucial thing that every MBA student should have. Uh, the holy grain to get any job opportunity, internship opportunity is only through LinkedIn, Nokri and uh, various other uh, platform we have, Internshala we have. But LinkedIn we have, uh, we can get more quality one in LinkedIn. So I search LinkedIn, I search internship through LinkedIn, I will message the HRs directly, I call them directly through their company website and uh, I message them, we contact them, contacted them and finally I got internship at Malabar Group over. Uh, when we message uh, uh, 50, 30 uh, HR, only we get a uh, reply from 3 or 4. So I message them directly. That is how I got my internship at Malabar Group, Kerala. So what about you, Janani? How did you get your internship? I got my internship just like Googling so many companies. And I just got the HR's uh, email email and, and started sending mails to those uh, HR. And then randomly I got... Uh, a reply letter from RTS Group HR and then I joined there which is located in Namakal and I have been, uh, done my finance internship there where I have explored so many things of finance, in fact finance theoretically we, uh, we learn and also we just do the sum but as an intern of finance intern there I just do everything practically which was totally different and I have again some uh, more knowledge and practical knowledge of it and see as a we, we are a fresher so as a fresher, uh, you have got a play, uh, got placed in a company. So how did you source and what are all the things you have done to attend the interview and get succeeded? Okay, you are asking about my placement uh, uh, preparation. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, like after the, I'm done with my internship at Malabar Group, I constantly searched for my placement and there are also various campus placements that I did. 
which happened in our college also. We are also part of so many companies. We yes, yes. We went to interviews like uh, CGPAC, uh, KJSL, and so many proper we went together. And uh, from every interview, we could be able to learn any uh, the particular one thing. You know, uh, uh, the previous interview we might not be that uh, good at confidence level. That might, we might not be good at uh, speaking uh, or delivery of content. Might not be clear. Not previous interview, but after that, uh, after, but by doing one more interview after on, on another, we could able to sense our uh, mistakes, identify our mistakes and rectify them. So uh, learning from interview was like a, a amazing factor. Uh, we could able to uh, outperform in our interviews only through those uh, uh, experiences, and also there are there are so many placement trainings that happening in ASBM. Uh, like uh, they provided uh, me, uh, provided us with the aptitude test, aptitude test uh, class training, and also the group discussion. The uh, uh, group discussion training we had. So many uh, placement trainings we uh, gone through during this uh, journey. And uh, what about you, Janet? About your uh, placement preparation? How did you get the job? My uh, how did I get this? Like I started applying for a job after the internship <laughs> over. Uh, randomly and, and more consciously on uh, LinkedIn, Indeed and Nagpuri and so many interviews I have attended or uh, previously and some I got shortlisted and some I didn't get. Yes. So apart from the shortlisted, shortlisted thing and I just moved to the failure things and I just learned what are all the things I have missed out and the first thing is the resume which, uh, which I furnished according to to, uh, job to and job, job description where resume play yes. more important role and then uh, I just got a mail from this company and then I just attend before going uh, going and attending an interview mm -hmm. uh, we have to uh, create a resume according to the JD and then uh, we have to go through the companies and what are all the roles uh, that we have to do for the particular job and, and then and then I just move forward. So you have told me what are all the uh, see how you uh, approach the company, but what are all the things you have done before attending an interview? Yes, as you already mentioned, the, the resume should be built in a way that you sh it should stand unique uh, from the other competitors, other candidates. So I build my resume in according with uh, the job description which is provided with me. Uh, we should not add anything unnecessary in our uh, resume because it might affect our uh, interview process because when we add anything unnecessary in, in our resume, interview might ask questions from that and we may not be able to answer for that. So we should only add things that we know. Uh, we should not add anything unnecessary because it, because it might affect the whole interview process. That is what I felt. And also, you should be very confident in your language. You should be very confident in your body language. That is the thing that interviewer, interviewer ex, uh, expect from, from us. Because uh, the questions that were put to me, which was more of like very humanistic in sense, which is not like, because I was acting as a HR trainee, which is not uh, like other technical interview. It was like very basic, but they are expecting some human in, in, in ourselves. That is the main uh, motto of the that interview, which is, which is what I felt. But also, uh, yes, a resume building is a very much important. Also, communication is very, very important. And about your resume building, your resume. I have uh, already mentioned that like a resume is more important. And according to the JD, we have to create more than uh, creating a resume. And we have to have the confidence level. What, uh, so even though we prepared well, uh, we'll be getting some nervousness. So through those failures in interview, maybe uh, the nervousness it might be the reason for the failures also. So at the, at the time of interview, even you and even me, we'll get some nervousness. So uh, what are the things we'll get uh, get into our mind is whether we'll select or not. So how am I I'm going to answer to this question where I can us. So I think confidence is more important and self-motivation is also important. Right? And then so finally, so what would you, uh, what you have you learned from all these things and what would you like to tell for the uh, aspiring MBA? To the aspiring MBA students, I would say you should be very pro proactive and you should know the importance of networking. You should not underestimate network uh, development. 
because it helps us in various ways. Uh, we should be very active in LinkedIn. We should, uh, because act, LinkedIn is a very professional platform. We can connect to any CEO of a company, any HR of a company, which is very much important for an MBA student to be active in LinkedIn. And also, I would say, uh, uh, you should be uh, come out of your com uh, comfort zone, be yourself, be yourself in attending interviews, be yourself in uh, answering the questions. That is what I, uh, my suggestion to the juniors. What would be your piece of advice to the juniors? The, my advice is like, first, uh, what are all the things we love? Theoretically, we have to apply it when we in practical way, even it might be even the sounds or even the communications. And as you already mentioned, the comfort zone, we have to come out of the com comfort zone. Only then we, we get to explore more and we get to uh, learn more. And staying in the comfort zone, that's never uh, going to help. As our mentor usually tell every time and also not to be as a click. Yes. So that is an important thing. And we should, uh, and then constantly improve yourself by so sourcing, networking, and gain and gain extra skills if uh, by doing various courses which are available in Coursera and Great Learning. This might help and add an extra credit yes. credential yes. for our uh, resume. Yes. And, and then uh, like we have to uh, be constant and it's not like uh, we have to study. If we like it and study, I think uh, we, we and crazy. everyone can get uh, succeed yes. and it will be not a burden at all. Yes. So that's it, Dubai. Yes. So thank you so much for uh, answering those questions which I have already yes. asked you. Thank you to you to Jeremy that you answered all the questions and you have provided me with so many valuable insights. Thank you. Thank you.